everybody, my name is Rhiannon Tool, and I just finished up my sophomore year at the University of Rhode Island where I'm currently double majoring in Chinese and supply chain management. Uh, this past summer 2019, I attended a GMEO summer program in Chengdu. After my experience this past summer, I truly believe that Chengdu is a city where once you come, you'll never want to leave. I really believe you can settle down your body and your soul in this city. When I think back to Chengdu and what really made it stand out from other cities or other places I've been was the food. Chengdu is the spice capital of the world. It is the hottest place. Everywhere you go, you have to say either la or bula. Um, so hot or not hot, depending on how you want your food. And usually you'll be accommodated. The simplicity of travel by either subway or taxi, I found to be extremely manageable. So even for my friends who have no Chinese experience, no experience with the Mandarin language at all, they were still able to navigate around very, very easily. Um, even if there were no English like headers or anything on the roads, everything was in pinyin. So as long as you remembered you were going to, for example, Hua Xiba, Di Tiejian, um, the pinging Hua Xiba would still be there. So it was still very easy to get around and very easy to still figure out where you were going. I have been learning Chinese since I was in sixth grade. Um, I'm 20 years old now, so I began when I was 11 years old. So it's been nine years now. And I was absolutely amazed by just how quickly I was able to progress with my Chinese language and learning. And I was only there for five weeks. But even so, the way that I was able to develop my language and pick up, I, you know, I was very used to a traditional classroom learning style, very strict grammar, things like that. And I immediately began to pick up on slang or how to use the Chinese I've learned in the classroom and be able to apply it to real life. So in that way, I felt that I was comfortable enough to come to Chengdu and stay and not want to leave because of how much I was learning and how much I was progressing as a student. Um, now another aspect of Chengdu uh, that I have to say was just so special was the people. I've actually been to China before. I went to China back in 2014. I went to Beijing and I went to Guilin. Um, but I've never met people who are as kind-hearted and welcoming as the people I met in Chengdu. The natives would always want to talk to you and get to know you and even practice their English. People were so outgoing and so willing to engage with foreigners in a way that was just so kind and genuine and something you don't see a lot around the world. 